Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. This is part six of building my Radeon 7 rig. And maybe you guys know from the previous videos that I have bricked four of the Radeon 7s and I had to RMA all four of them. And so in this video, I just received two of them, two of the RMAs, and these are specifically from XFX. And XFX decided to FedEx me two packages here. I don't know why they're in different boxes. I thought they'd both be in like a FedEx box, but all I did was just open it up a little bit here and uh, I haven't seen the GPUs or anything yet. So I wanted to show you guys just uh, uh, to do a little unboxing here of the RMA'd Radeon 7s. And we're also going to plug them in into my test bench and figure out what kind of memory and stuff that these Radeon 7s, uh, the RMA'd Radeon 7s have. Okay, and uh, we'll do hash rate testing and all that throughout this video and then later half of this video we are going to go to my second mining location and plug them into my Radeon 7 mining rig, okay? So stay tuned for that. Let's begin. Let me go ahead and take these boxes out first. Okay, so the first Radeon 7 came in a FedEx box here. It looks like there wasn't much packaging other than just it, it was in another box. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, so here, hold on. I'm just going to take this out here. Okay, there we go. So it looks like it came in a XFX box, the, similar to the stock Radeon 7 cardboard box that I shipped it out in. And here we go, and came with that, and there's the Radeon 7. Looks like, looks like there's some padding here, so that's good. And there's some padding on the other side there, so that looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to take it out here, and yeah, no, it looks... Obviously brand spanking new and uh, let's see here. Yeah, no brand new brand new. Obviously they sent me a new one. I think I would think and uh, Yeah, okay, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and see if uh, this one works Okay, I just got I just got to take out my 5700 XT here, which has been mining like a boss actually Okay, got the Radeon 7 in Power cable, dual PCIe 8 pin, as you guys can see. Okay, let me go turn it on, and we are gonna go into the rig and we'll see what kind of memory it has and hash rates. Looks like it turned on just great. Red LED. Oh man, I love I love these Radeon 7s. And there we go. We got HBM2 Hynix memory. Okay, so we didn't get any Samsung, which is unfortunate, but I think Hynix is okay. But uh, as you guys know, the four Radeon 7s that were bricked were all Hynix memory. Okay, and it showed up in Device Manager, of course. There's no Code 43 or anything like that. And uh, we're going to test out the hash rate now, my friends, for this card specifically. Okay, so I'm just going and I entered in the MSI Afterburner, the overclocks already. And uh, I just randomly choose one of the Hynix ones that uh, just an average setting that I use for the other, other Hynix cards. Okay, so let me now go ahead and turn on Claymore version 15. Yes, 90 mega hash. Look at that, 90 mega hash, and let's see what the power consumption is at the wall. Okay, there we go, it's getting about 288, 290 watts at the wall, mining at 90 mega hash. Okay, so we verified the card works. You guys can see that, and now I want to try the second card before we go to my second mine location. Okay, I got the other Radeon 7. It's all packed in its box now. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the second RMA'd Radeon 7. So it came in a box like this. All right, it didn't come in one of those FedEx boxes, but uh, you guys can see here it says warranty replacement not for resale. So obviously not going to sell this guy. All right, let's see what it comes in here. All right, there's, there's a little paper protector here. Not really doing anything, and okay, it has another XFX box, so that's good. Open up the box, it's the same as that one. Okay, and yeah, same packaging as the other one, Armade Radeon 7. Let's take it apart here. Beautiful, beautiful, look at that, look at that, my friends. What a clean, 
Definitely brand new Radeon 7. Okay, I just hope this doesn't break, but let me go ahead and plug it in and we'll see what it's like in the computer. Okay, it turned on, no problem, looks good. Yeah, it's got good old HBM2, Hynix memory yet again, no Samsung, but that's all right. No code 43 in the device manager. I put the same overclock settings and it looks like we now are getting 90 mega hash as well on this Radeon 7 specifically, okay? So, all right, it looks like the Radeon 7s from XFX that were RMA made are okay now, all right? So they sent me, it looks like two new ones, not the same ones that I had before, all right? So they sent me brand new Radeon 7s, which I'm happy about. Yeah, same power consumption, all that kind of stuff. Okay, my friends, obviously I, uh, I'm i still waiting on two more Radeon 7s, which are gonna come soon from Sapphire and the other XFX one. So otherwise though, let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring these two Radeon 7s to my second mining location now, and I will see you guys there and we're gonna see if we can get four Radeon 7s to work on my Radeon 7 mining rig. Let's go. All right, my friends. Hi, I'm at my second mining location, and oh man, it's really busy in here. Look at this, I got my RTX 2080 project going on here. I finally have two motherboards that I'm gonna utilize uh, just to give you guys an update, a quick update, I haven't bought the Ryzen CPUs. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to utilize what I have currently. So I have two of the same motherboards, the Gigabyte Z270P-D3 motherboards coupled with G3930 processors and 8 gigabytes of RAM on each one. And uh, yeah, so in case some of you guys don't know, I'm just going to be doing some, you know, head-on testing versus mining softwares such as like NiceHash versus Kudo Miner and like Claymore maybe versus Phoenix Miner and G Miner and some other soft mining softwares out there just to do some comparisons to see which one's more profitable per se. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to build these real soon. Okay, and uh, I got my Radeon 7s on the floor and I just want to give you guys another quick update of my GTX 1080 Ti rig. Oh man, I love this rig. It's been mining like a boss, no problems. And uh, I'm actually mining something called Cortex at the moment. That's uh, Cortex AI, it's based on uh, like, a, like a decentralized AI uh, blockchain per se. I don't know much about it really, but uh, people said it was a cool coin to mine and I'm mining it right now. You guys can see 15.89 graphs per second for the whole rig at about 1,020 watts. So pretty good, and you guys can see the temperatures are pretty cool on this 1080 Ti rig. I love it so much. I will have a hash rate video soon, real soon, for this rig. Okay, so this is not about my other rigs. This is about part six of building my Radeon 7 rig. And as you guys can see here, I have two of the Radeon 7s already plugged in, and I have two of the fans plugged in as well. So actually, let's see the temperatures, and I need to get a DVI cable. I'll be right back. Okay, got a DVI cable, and you guys can see it's been mining about, uh, I had to restart it actually, but it's been mining Ethereum, about 86 mega hash per Radeon 7 here. And the reason why they're getting 86 mega hash is because uh, these are the Samsung memory Radeon 7s. Now, as we know, I showed you guys earlier in this video is that these, these Radeon 7s here, the ones that are made, are getting about 90 mega hash, and these have Hynix memory. All right, so I'm gonna shut this rig down and we are gonna plug in one by one another Radeon 7, okay? So we're gonna add another Radeon 7. We'll have a total of three. I will verify that it'll be able to mine and hopefully not get any code 43 error on these cards, that would really suck. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna shut her down. Okay, so I have the rig off. Now I actually, before I add in the Radeon 7s, I need to figure out my power splitter situation here. So I have a bunch of the six pin to dual eight pin PCIe splitters. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do the similar situation I did on my 1080 Ti rig. Plus I have a 24 pin splitter as well to enable two of the ATX power supplies to turn on at the same time, okay? So I'm gonna have to plug in the splitter for this 24 pin onto the other 24 pin. And basically, it just, it just acknowledges that this power supply, when the motherboard turns on, it will turn on the other power supply as well, okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna unplug all the PCIe cables so I can just do an inventory 
of, you know, eventually when I plug in six Radeon 7s that I will be, have enough power capacity and cables uh, to plug in six Radeon 7s and six PCIe U-bit risers to power. So I would need a total of, let's see, two 8 pins. So I would need 12 8 pins PCIe and I need another six for the risers. So total I would need 18 PCIe cables. Okay, so let me go ahead. Let's do an inventory first. Okay, so I got all the PCIe cables plugged into the two 1200 watt PSUs, as you guys can see. And I got all the strands coming down here just so we can do an audit and I can show you guys how many PCIe cables I got here. So I got a total of 18 plugs, which I explained before. So I would need 12 for the GPUs and uh, 6 for the U-bit risers. Now for each power supply, we are going to plug in three Radeon 7s per 1200 watt PSU. Okay, so basically split up, there's gonna be three on this one and three on these cables right here. So total here, I have about nine PCIe cables. All right, so six of them will go to the GPUs. Three of these from these are gonna go into the PCIe risers. Okay, and the other three are gonna go into the GPUs. And then I have three main PCIe cables which will go into the GPUs, as you guys can see here. Okay, so similar to what I did on my 1080 Ti rig, you guys may have saw that video. I'm doing the exact same thing to power the GPUs, okay? So hopefully that explains the power situation I have here and I hope to God it will work. Okay, so let me go ahead and plug in the other Radeon 7 here and along with the two other Radeon 7s that worked before, okay? So let me do that right now. I got all the three Radeon 7s plugged in. As you guys can see, this is how I have done the PCIe splitting. Okay, so what I mentioned before, three of the PCIe, main PCIe cables coming from the ATX power supply. This one specifically, three of them get a full PCIe. And then I have one that's being split, okay? As you guys can see here from a splitter coming from another full PCIe cable. Then it goes, one goes into the graphic card and another one goes into the riser. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, okay? So that's happening on all three of these. And yeah, so let's turn this on. Let's see if it works. And let's see if this XFX with Hynix memory gets code 43. Okay, so as you guys know, I was getting code 43 on four of them before and I had to RMA all four. And uh, yeah, that was, that was not a good time. But the two Samsung memory Radeon 7s seem to hold up well and seem to be working, okay? so. Let me go ahead, let's turn this on. I'm gonna hit the power button on this side. Okay, so that's on. I don't have this one plugged in yet. Let's go ahead now and I gotta hit the power button on the motherboard. And there we go. Okay, smell test. All right, there's no, there's no smoke. All right, it's going into Windows. I got the uh, crazy 120 millimeter 4K RPM fans on as well. Okay, all right, let's see if we get a code 43. Let's go to device manager. And let's see here, display adapters. Yes, would you look at that? Look at that, they're all installed. No code 43. Oh my goodness, so happy right now. Oh man, that's crazy. Hold on, I'm gonna restart the computer just for good measure. Just for good measure. Yeah, it looks to be good. I just restarted the computer and no code 43 on any of the Radeon 7s. Thank goodness. And Tech Power Up is showing the Hynix memory Radeon 7 just fine. Okay, so we are okay there. Okay guys, so actually, let me go ahead now. I'm gonna try and mine with these three just to make sure it can mine. Okay, my friends, I got Phoenix Miner up. I have my overclocks in, MSI Afterburner. Looks like to be mining, it looks like it's good. We're getting 261 mega hash total. The two Samsung cards are getting about 86 mega hash. And the Hynix card, the RMA one, is getting about 89 now. So that looks to be pretty good. The power consumptions, it looks like 194. Ooh, that's a bit high. Uh, 178 and 177 for the Hynix card. But the two Samsungs, 
looks like to be a little bit higher power consumption and looks like the temperatures are pretty good so far but it looks like we just started as well so 59 degrees celsius now i want to i'm curious of the junction temperatures okay so for gpu one it looks like the junction temperature is about 78 degrees okay that's with the 120 millimeter 4k rpm fans 200 cfm all right uh, gpu2 is showing about junction temperature of 77 okay that's not too bad it's looking like it's jumping around to 77 76 yeah 77 to 76 and then we can go to gpu3 that's showing about 80 degrees celsius junction temperature but the current temperature i guess for the gpu overall is showing about 58 okay so i'm not too worried about the junction temperature but everything else looks to be just fine so far 57 for gpu2 56 degrees uh, 61 degrees celsius for the first one okay so not too shabby not too shabby it looks like it's finding some shares as you guys can see 262 mega hash this is so cool oh i'm so happy i'm so happy okay my friends i'm gonna turn this off and we are gonna do the fourth radeon 7 and hope to god that we don't get any code 43 on this guy right here we shouldn't we shouldn't so far so good all right let's go Oh my god, it's so much quieter with this thing off. Jeez, this thing is so loud because of the 120 millimeter fans. And uh, let's go ahead and plug in the other Radeon 7. Look at this guy. Okay, look how beautiful this card is, my friends. Ah, number four. I cannot wait to get all six of them going. Okay. Four Radeon 7s plugged in. I put in the PCIe cables, riser, and it's PCIe cable. And you guys can see I have extra, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six PCIe cables left for the other two Radeon 7s that hopefully I will get back from RMA real soon so I can plug in the whole machine. Okay, my friends, I have the power supplies all plugged in into my PDU over there right behind in my trip light PDU. And uh, let's turn this thing on. Hopefully there's no smoke. Okay, all right. You guys can hear the fans. They're really loud and they're blowing a lot of air right now. Definitely a lot of air. How can I show that in a video? It's just crazy. Just crazy. <laughs> a lot of air. You see that bag? It's being held up by the air. It's just crazy. Okay, let's see if we can see it in the device manager. <sighs> oh man, we have a code 43, guys. Look at that. Code 43, exclamation mark. Just kidding, look at that, four Radeon 7s. Beautiful, oh my god. See, it works, it works. I feel like, I, I feel validated for some reason. I don't know why, but I was like, you know, scratching my head, figuring out why the heck I was getting code 43 on my other Radeon 7s. And yeah, but there we go, my friends. It looks like it's working. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and turn on Phoenix Miner. Let me get the overclocks in. Okay, overclocks are in for the Hynix cards and everything else. And you guys can see, it looks like we are successful. 90 mega hash on the fourth Radeon 7 I just put in. And the, the one I put in before is getting 89. And the two Samsung ones that I have initially are getting 86 mega hash, as you guys can see. Look at that, we're finding shares and everything. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, these fans are so loud. I'm sorry guys, if you guys are listening right now to the video, it's probably really loud. But, oh my god, I am so relieved. I am so relieved beyond belief. You guys, you guys cannot imagine how I feel right now. It's, oh man, I've been, as you guys know, I bricked four Radeon 7s. And since then, I've been, I, I've, I've been depressed. I, I've been depressed. And I had to go out and buy six GTX 1080 Ti's to, to feel better. 
and uh, <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, this rig is working no problem. But my God, I had nothing but issues with Radeon 7s so far, and to have four brick on me was definitely, huh, just it just made me feel just just depressed. And uh, you guys know how I felt before, but. Okay, my friends, it looks like we're good. How many mega hash are we getting right now? 352. Oh my God, we're using about 744 watts. Um, I'm assuming at the wall, we're probably using like a thousand, maybe more. Add on another 40 watts per Radeon 7. So we're probably using like maybe close to 900 watts. And it looks like each GPU is getting about 195, 179, 181. 189 it looks like they're pretty different silicon lottery of course you know these like i said before these radeon 7s are not made the same like they may look the same but the gpu dies the hbm2 memory and all that kind of stuff that's made in them are all different in my opinion they all require different overclocks and uh, stuff to have it stable and stuff so but otherwise it looks like it seems to be stable for now i'll keep watch of it it's only been running for about three minutes and uh yeah the temperatures let's see here 58 degrees 57 60 degrees and 58. <sighs> okay all right my friends that's it that's part six of my radeon 7 mining build here and uh, obviously I'm not done yet. I have to wait for the other two Radeon 7s for RMA. Okay, so that's gonna be hopefully coming soon. I think it's gonna be coming in a few days for the Sapphire one, but I haven't heard for the third XFX card. So hopefully that should come, I hope, hopefully soon, I hope. But I will keep you guys updated. Thank you for watching. I have a lot of projects coming up and a lot of videos, so I will see you guys soon. Please let me know what you guys think about my Radeon 7 rig here currently. And if you guys have any opinions or things I should do better, please let me know. I appreciate you all. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go eat something now and have a good one. And peace out.